This is my review of Samurai Flamenco. Okay, so immediately after Masayoshi reveals his secret identity, we're actually introduced to the next major villain. So immediately afterward, um, Joji Konami dressed as Red X shows up on the scene and informs Masayoshi that there's something else at play that he that he will immediately need to deal with and tells the press that they're going to be busy for the next couple of hours um, and then escorts Masayoshi away in a giant floating helicarrier at which point he reveals what exactly is going on and reveals that King Torture had a little bit of help so King Torture actually got his um, technology that he used to become super powerful and create all his monsters from another organization of consisting of mostly aliens named From Beyond. And case in point, when as soon as From Beyond is revealed, he use From Beyond uses its abilities, one of its abilities to transmit a signal across all of Japan and broadcast its origin story about how it came to Earth in a meteor and it slowly a organic matter to grow until it became the massive size that it is now so so yeah and also and after and then joji konami reveals the why he's secretly been absent for so often because he's been secretly training his own sentai squad in secret um called called the flamenger program which is essentially designed to protect japan against major threats and any the reason he kidnapped Masayoshi, for lack of a better word, is because Masi is because he believes Masayoshi has what it takes to be the leader of the new Flamenger group, and and as he tells Masayoshi this, they go through the facility and re and points out all of the different things that the Flamenger organization has, specifically that is basically the pinnacle of all things military and science. And has been and has been stockpiling, basically all of the world's resources, so that they could one day face off against from beyond, and that today just happened to be that day. At which point they finally arrive at the conference room, where Masayoshi is supposed to meet the roommate, the fl other four flamengers, but they're killed by a monster named Ugly Toxic Poison, which is revealed again in a in a flashy promo by provided by from from beyond. Who, who then reveals that he has the ability to mix various toxins within himself, and Masayoshi and Konami, with no real way to defend against them except by covering their own mouths and considering the fact that they have really no way of defending against the monster's attacks, let the soldiers handle it while they go and assemble the, the secondary auxiliary squad. Consisting of, hold on, I haven't looked up here because they didn't, they didn't reveal any of the names, but I'm going to give them to you anyway because I'm nice. So the first one is Shoji Aoshima, who has been an apprentice of Konami since a young age and has been with him for, ten, for over 10 years at that point. We also meet Anji Kuroki, who was a former mercenary and has his specialty with weapons. We also have Higuro Midori Kawa, who is, passes bar exam and is training to become a lawyer, and Sakura Momoi, who is the only only female member of the Flamengers, and as such is the only, is the one female in every group because every Sentai every Sentai team needs a female in the group. It, it, it's a rule, I think, but yeah, so. So as the so as Joji Konami tries to figure out a way to deal with um, ugly toxic poison, all the flamengers gear up, and that they're all they're all flam and red. They're all they're all the Red Ranger. They all want to be. They were all trained to be the Red Ranger, but they can't all be the Red Ranger. And Joji Konami quickly realizes this and tells them to um, sort it out amongst theirsel themselves, while. And Masayoshi chases after him and talk, asks him about it and put, presses him a little bit further. At which point, Joji Konami points out that it's not his job to interfere and that he actually has to has to reunite everybody under him. 
So Masayoshi is trying to become the le is trying to become the leader and prove himself, and he kind of succeeds. Um, initially, initially it's what what's his name? It's initially it's so Soichi who wants to try and be Flame and Red, but Masayoshi, due to his strong sense of passion of justice, tr convinces them otherwise. Meanwhile, meanwhile, Choji Konami has gotten into his Red Axe gear and is currently dealing dealing in great battle with with ugly toxic poison who who seems to be who seems to be fighting them to a standstill it, it's awkward because his poisons aren't really affecting aren't really affecting konami but konami is having a hard time land, landing a blow on the monster at which point at which point konami gives his gives a speech about how he has seen masayoshi grow, grow as a hero and become and that he's more than worthy of becoming Flame and Red, and tells the other Flamengers that they need to realize it before the feed cuts out. At which point they all change into their respective colors, with all of them be with all of them being based around their personalities. For example, for example, uh, Sakura is obviously Flame and Pink. Uh, Soichi is Flame and Blue. Um, Angie is Flame and Black, and I don't know. Hikaru is Flame. Flame and green, and they and and with their powers combined, they are the Flamengers. So they finally, so having now sorted out that crisis, they finally are able to actually battle the monster, and they do a pretty handy job at it because the monster is wounded from Konami's attack, so he's unable to really co cooper cooperate. I don't know the word cooperate from the attack, and Konami is presumed dead. He's not, but. But, but as far as we know, he is until it's revealed much later. But yeah, if they, yeah, the Flamengers are able to hold their own against ugly toxic poison. That he grows massive, bursts through their underground shelter, and begins begins rampaging through the street, trying to spread as much chaos as possible. At which point, the Flamengers get in their respective vehicles because you've seen you've seen a you've seen a Sentai show before. You know how this works. There's color coded characters. They get into their own corresponding color-coded vehicles. Then they then they combine up and transform into a giant robot and defeat the punch the monster in the face a whole bunch until it explodes. And that's exactly what happens. So and that's how the episode ends. At which point Konami reveals himself to not quite be dead and actually survived his encounter with ugly toxic poison. But then, but then from beyond reveals his remaining three generals, consisting of Heatnoid whom I'm assuming is a fire type. I've never, I haven't, I didn't watch the show after a certain point because, um, I, let's be honest, I, I kind of got a little bit confused because of the Power Ranger thing, but yeah, it is a good show. I promise. I, I kind of watched, stopped watching and came back to it, but it is a, but it does get very weird at this point. So I kind of stopped watching and started watching again, but yeah, this, ep the, this episode was weird. Um, but anyway, he reveals his remaining three generals, Heatnoid, Triple M34, and Killing Joke. Killing Joke being the only one that doesn't speak. Speak because he, we don't know. He's, Killing Joke's special. We don't know why he doesn't speak. But yeah, also, but yeah, as, but yeah, as Masayoshi declares into the sunset that he's going to find from beyond and defeat him, he finds out that he got a, many calls from Ishihara, who saw his, debut as Samurai Flamenco on screen and his reveal subsequent revealing of his secret identity and has many questions. <laughs> She's suspected at this point, but she has many questions. So, yeah, this episode this episode was mainly to kick off the whole Samurai Flamenco Flamenco thing, but I, I mean, it's ridiculous. It is. Because, as I said, it doesn't have a traditional plot structure. So, of course, logically, the next per the next logical step would be to become a Super Sentai squad and face down against giant monsters and a giant robot. Because, of course, because anime. But anyway, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode of Samurai Flamenco and want, and I do want to know what you guys think, then let me know in the comment section down below or over on my Discord server, a link in the description. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Also, be sure to follow me on Facebook and on Twitter in the description below. And also check out my Patreon description below as well. It's only a couple bucks a month. And it really helps out the show. So I would definitely appreciate it if you did that. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.